and sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. Feel yourself as you're grounding down into your mat. Feel your sit bones pressing down and your feet. Feel all of these parts that's now touching uh, the earth. And feel that energy, moving that energy into your body. Feel the security of the earth beneath you. And then allow yourself just to relax. Now choose one area to focus your practice. As you move through your practice today, you should lose focus, come back to the area, or if your focus is moved to another area, then make that the focus. As you go through your class, try not to allow yourself to be distracted, keeping the focus very much on yourself and be, being in the moment, so not projecting forward, not anticipating what you should feel, and not being concerned about what you felt after the pose. Just allow yourself to be. In this way, you're getting much more from the pose. You're not overthinking it. You want yourself to embrace it and to feel. So be aware of what you feel now, and if you haven't chosen, chosen a spot already, then choose your heart. And then breathe, breathe into the area that you've chosen to focus. And as you breathe out, feel for that release as you let go. Two more breaths into your area. Exhale, feel good for that release as you let go. One more breath, deep breath. And exhale, feel for that release. So the honor today is Surivena. Uh, and we'll do this in knee power. So bring your left leg over your right, and your right uh, foot comes towards your, your left foot comes towards your right hip, your right foot is towards your uh, left sit bone. Hold the first two fingers down of your right hand, and use your thumb to block your right nostril. Inhale through your left nostril, inhale for 10. Drop both nostrils and hold the breath, hold for 10. Exhale through left nostril for 10. Exhale completely, breathe through your left nostril for 10. Got both nostrils, hold for 10. Exhale, left nostril for 10. Breathe through your left nostril for 10. Lock in both nostrils, hold for 10. Exhale, left for 10. Then breathe through your left nostril for 10. Both nostrils hold for 10.
Exhale, left, nostril for 10. And then release. Shake the cross of your legs. Activate your feet, spreading toes, the balls of your feet are spreading. Pull the first two fingers down of your left hand. Use your thumb to block left nostril and breathe through your right nostril for 10. Lock your both nostrils and hold for 10. Exhale, right for 10. Breathe through your right nostril for 10. Lock both nostrils, hold for 10. Exhale, exhale right for 10. Breathe through your right nostril for 10. Lock both nostrils, hold for 10. Exhale left for 10. Exhale right for 10. And then release. Bring the soles of your feet together. Your heels are about 12 inches away from your pelvic bone. Bring your toes back, toes are flexed to shins. And then you press your ball of your foot together. Press the little toe side of the foot all the way, feel that all the way down to the heels and then bring hands behind hips. From here, now take a deep breath, breathe in as deeply as you can. And hold a breath. Sit bones, presses down, lift, lift belly, diaphragm, lift chest. And just notice the breath as it's moving through your body, directing it to your spot. Bring your hands forward of your shins and exhale. Exhale till empty. Chin is tucking in, pull belly back. Pull it in, pull it up. Spreading ribs, spread diaphragm. Keep feeling that you're hollowing your belly out. Relax your belly, stay here, and then breathe to back ribs. Spread the breath through your back ribs, opening your back ribs. And as you exhale, allowing your body to melt forward. If you're at your limit, then stay where, where you are, just breathe into what you feel. Now from pelvic bowl, breathe in. Lifting belly away from pelvis. And exhale, exhale as you fold. As you breathe, expand your ribs wide, as wide as you can. Feel your ribs as they open to armpits. And exhale as you fold. Now breathe to your spot. As you exhale, allowing your body to fold. Inhale, release, pushing the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way on back up. Your next pose is seated side bend with one leg straight. So straighten your left leg. 
your right foot is tucked in so that the heel is by the groin, or you have the option of bringing your right foot back so that your heel is by your glute. Reach your right hand back, grab hold of the ankle with your right hand. Left sit bones presses to the floor, or otherwise bring your hand, right hand to the floor. Reach your left leg forward, spread the toes to the ball of your foot. And then inhale, reach your left arm up as you open through left side ribs. As you breathe out, bring your left arm down on the inside of your left leg and relax your left ear to left shoulder. If you're not holding your right ankle, then lift your right hand up and then reach it away from your ear. Inhale, lift belly away from pelvis. As you exhale, glide your right shoulder away from your right ear. Breathe to lower back and lengthening lower ribs up away from sacrum. And as you exhale, feel as if you're pressing your left sit bone back to floor. As you breathe in, lift sternum. So lift your chest bones up as if you're moving chest to chin. And as you breathe out, relax your right ear away from right shoulder. On the next breath, bring your right arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your left thigh, hip or clothing. And as you exhale, glide your right shoulder away from right ear. Now breathe, breathe right between your shoulder blades. On exhale, feel as if you're squeezing the top shoulder down towards the bottom shoulders, if the shoulders are squeezing towards each other. Chest open, breathe in, release your right arm, reach your right arm straight up. As you exhale, as you arc your chest forward, reach your right arm straight back, spread the fingers, feel the energy moving through every one of your fingers. Now breathe, as you inhale, lengthen out of your left side. And as you exhale, you're lengthening your right arm away from right ear. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. Now breathe in. As you breathe in, you're reaching your right arm straight up. And as you exhale, reach. Your right arm is reaching over right ear. Deep breath. Keep lifting out of your left side. And as you exhale, as you lengthen your right arm forward, glide your right sit bone back. On the next breath, breathe into side ribs. And exhale, you're lengthening your right arm above over right ear. Use your right arm breathing to pull your body up and use your left hand to support your head and your neck. And then change the other side. You're tucking your left foot in so that the heel is by the groin. Otherwise, you're bringing your left foot back so that the heel is by your glute. Moving your thighs away from each other. Feet are active, toes are spreading, and you're reaching out with the ball of your foot. Left hand takes hold of the left ankle. Otherwise, your fingertips to the floor. Press into your right sit bone. Breathe in, reach your right arm up, opening right side ribs. As you breathe out, bring your hands down to the inside of right leg. Relax your right ear to right shoulder. If you're not holding left foot, lift your left hand up and then reach it back. Now breathe in, lift, keep lifting out of your left, right side. And exhale, slide your left shoulder away from left ear. Breathe to lower back, feel your lengthening low ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, glide your left hip back, sit bone is reaching to floor. On the next breath, lift your sternum. Soften your left shoulder on exhale. Inhale, slide your left arm all the way around the back, tucking it onto the right thigh, onto hip or clothing. And as you breathe out, squeeze your top shoulder down towards your bottom shoulder. 
Now breathe to the left side of your neck, deep breath. And exhale, relax your jaw. Feet, feet are still active. Chest opener, on the next breath, release your left arm, reach your left arm straight up. And as you exhale, reach it straight back, chest open. Breathe right between shoulder blades, so feeding the back of heart with breath. And as you exhale, you're lengthening your left arm back. Inhale, reach your left arm straight up towards the ceiling. And exhale, reach it forward. So keep feeling for pushing, lifting out of your right side, deep breath. And exhale, as you reach your left arm forward, glide your right sit bone back. On your next breath, breathe into side ribs. So you're opening your lungs wide out to armpits. And exhale, lengthening your left arm over left ear. Use your left arm, inhale, reach your left arm up, reach it back, allow the arm to pull you up, and your right hand is supporting head and neck as you come all the way up. You're coming into your abdominal sequence, starting today with elbow to knee. So we'll do elbow to knee and star spiral pulse. Slide down onto your Your back is pre-key, soles of your feet are onto the floor. Hands are clasped behind your head and neck. From here, you press your lower back to floor. You inhale, you lift your head, shoulder blades up away from the floor. You hold the breath. As you exhale, curl to elbow up. Your elbows up to left knee and belly's in. If you can go further, lift your right foot up. And if you can go further, straighten it. Belly's in at the end of the exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale, lower head and shoulders down, feet down. You're working with both feet up, feet off the floor. Lift your feet off the floor, bend the knees. Knees align with hips. Heels are just below the knees and reach out, spread the toes. Everyone, press lower back to floor. Inhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Now lift up and reach your elbows up, your shoulder blades away from floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl to elbows up. And reach your elbows to your left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Spread the toes. Relax your right hip. Ease your right thigh forward away from hip. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl to elbows up. Your elbows are to your right knee. You're reaching your left leg forward. Relax your left hip. Curl to elbows up. Reach your left thigh forward away from waist. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. And press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl to elbows up. Your elbows are to your left knee. You're reaching your right leg forward. Relax your right hip. Curl to elbows up. Now send. Feel as if you're moving your right thigh bone away from hip bone. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl to elbow up, your elbows are to right knee, you're reaching your left leg forward. Relax your left hip, curl to elbow up, reach your left thigh forward, spread the toes, reach out with ball of your foot, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl to elbows up. Your elbows are to left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Reach your left thigh. Now curl to elbows up. Lengthen your left, your right thigh away from right hip. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees. Hold the breath. Lower back is pressing down. Exhale, curl to elbows up. Your elbows are to your right knee. You're reaching your left leg forward. Spread the toes. Reach your right elbow up. Shoulder blades are off the floor. Curl to elbow up. Send your left leg forward. Pull belly in. 
Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold your breath, and press your lower back to floor. Down spiral pulse. As you exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your elbows to left knee, reach your right leg straight up, flex the toes towards your shins. Now curl tailbone up and then pulse, reach your right heel up and then pulse. Keep moving from hip bone and then pulse. Now keep reaching your right heel up, lift your chest, reach your elbows up, now pull belly in. As you pull your belly in, press your lower back to the floor. Feel as if you're moving right thigh away from here. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up, your elbows are to your right knee, reach your left leg up, toes are flexed to shins. Curl the elbows up, now pulse and pulse. Keep moving from hip bone and pulse. Keep reaching your left leg up, toes flex to shins. Lift your chest, reach your elbows up. Now pull belly in. Pull your belly all the way down to floor. Press your lower back to floor. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down. Exhale, curl the elbows up. Your elbows are to your left knee. You're reaching your right leg up. Curl the elbows up. Now pulse, reach up with that right heel and pulse. Keep moving from hip foot, hip joint. Pulse. Keep reaching your right heel up. Lift your chest. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. As your belly pulls in, press your lower back to floor. Inhale. Come back to center. Bend the knees. Hold the breath and press the top rim of the sacrum down. Exhale, curl the elbow up, your elbows are to right knee, left leg is reaching straight out and up, reach out with the heels. Curl the elbow up, now pulse, reach up with that left heel, pulse, and pulse. Keep reaching that left heel up, lift your chest, reach your elbows up, pull belly in, belly's in, now press your lower back to floor. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, press your lower back to floor. Exhale, release, lower head and shoulders down and place the soles of your feet onto the floor. Give yourself a moment and just allow yourself to feel the pose, feeling the energy of the pose and moving this into your spot. Your next pose today, another abdominal straddle, straddle lifting through or frog lifting through. Your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. Your feet are off the floor. If you're doing straddle, your legs reach up, straight up, and then straddle out towards the side. If you're doing frog, the knees are bent. Your heels, they are aligned with your knees. Toes are flexed to shins. You can move to the wall and have your feet up against the wall. Uh, if you wanted that option, and that option is especially good if your back is tweaky. So finding your position, press your lower back to the floor, hands are behind your head. Inhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from floor, hold the breath. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Now lengthen your legs out, reach out, spread the toes. Keep moving thigh bone away from hip bone, pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis, but keep head, shoulder blades up, hold the breath. Exhale, curl the bones up. Curl, pubic bone to navel. Reach your legs out, reach your elbows up, pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis, this time lift your head, lift your chest, reach your elbows up, hold the breath. And exhale, curl the bones up. Curl. Pubic bone to navel. You're lengthening your legs out, reach out with active feet, pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis, but lift your head, lift your chest, reach your elbows up, move your chin away from chest. And exhale, curl the elbows up. Lengthen your legs out, reach out, active feet. Feel the energy in the ball of your feet as you lengthen your legs to the side, pull belly in. Inhale, 
low pelvis and let your head lift your chest reach your elbows up feels as if you're unlocking shoulders that exhale curl tailbone up and then lengthen reach look right from your hip bone feel the energy through the thighs the calves the ankles right out to feet pull belly in inhale lower head lower shoulders to the floor use your hands at the side of your thighs and knees draw your legs together and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor you grab hold of your roll for bridge bridge with the roll the roll is placed between your thighs draw your heels back so your heels they align with your sit bones or they align with your hips relax your arms down brush your heels with fingertips and then relax your arms by your side and the shoulders away from your ears press your lower back to floor and then breathe in lengthen belly away from pelvis press your feet to floor exhale tilt pelvis and lift your pelvis up away from the floor gentle squeeze onto the roll as you breathe breathe to lower back as lengthening low ribs away from waist and as you exhale lift up push the floor away with your feet as you lift as you breathe feel this right from your pelvic bowl you're moving belly away from pelvis moving diaphragm and chest to chin and exhale lift up as you lift up push the floor away feel as if you're lengthening ankles away from heels as you breathe breathe to lower back your lengthening low ribs away from waist and as you exhale curl pubic bone to navel send your sit bones away from your sit bones reaches to calves now breathe to sternum deep breath keep moving chest to chin press your feet to floor exhale lift up squeeze the roll send your thighs and knees away from you breathe to your spot deep breaths and exhale lift up and feel the energy that's working through your legs up into calves back of hamstrings into glutes into lower back draw this energy right up into heart last breath inhale And exhale, tilt pelvis lower, upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis lower, mid back to floor. And tilt pelvis till you're all the way on down to floor. Move the roll out of your way. Cross your left leg over your right for a twisted root. If you can, you're actually from there, just bring your hands. So your left leg is crossed over if you can make the second cross make the second cross and then we're only doing one stage of twisted root today so doing the second stage you can do the second stage with your feet onto the floor or lift your feet up you can have the foot onto the wall or your feet just away from the floor bring your hands onto your left thigh keep neck shoulders relaxed now breathe deeply into lower back spreading ribs to floor And as you exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs, thighs against the hands. Now pull, pull your belly in, feel your moving belly away from pelvic bone. Relax pelvis and then breathe to lower back, spreading ribs to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs, thighs against hands, squeeze thighs, pull belly in. Relax pelvis and then breathe to lower back, spreading ribs to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs. Press thighs against the hands, pull belly in, squeeze the thighs. Inhale, release. Change the cross of your legs. Right is over left if you can. Make the second cross, make the second cross. Your hands are now on the midpoint of your right thigh. Keep the neck shoulders relaxed. Breathe to lower back, spreading ribs to floor. 
Hold the breath. Now exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs. Thighs against hands, squeeze thighs. Pull belly in, activate your feet, pull belly in. Relax pelvis and then breathe to lower back, spreading ridge to floor. And exhale, curl tailbone up, press hands against the thighs. Thighs against hands, squeeze thighs. Pull belly in. Relax pelvis, last one, deep breath. Breathe to lower back, spreading ribs to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against thighs. Thighs against hands, squeeze thighs, feet active. Pull belly in. Inhale, release. Roll to your uh, right side. Bring your left arm to the floor by chest. Breathe in. On exhale, push the floor away. Your left arm, you come up. Right hand supports your head and your neck as you come all the way on. Come on to knees for dolphin. Today, do dolphin, uh, we'll just stay in dolphin for five breaths, up to five breaths, and then dolphin with one leg up, three to five breaths on one side, foot comes down, three to five breaths on the other side. You can also clasp your hands in this way. So measure, measure hands onto biceps, elbows to the floor, reach your hands forward. Try to concentrate today in keeping your elbows uh, tucked in. One of the things I, I sometimes see, just building on from, from yesterday, is that you'll see in the absence of a, in the absence of having these, the blocks like that, sometimes I see people do this where they are keeping using the strap in that way to keep their elbows tucked in. Uh, personally, I don't like my head and the, my head and the strap kind of get in, get in the way. So I don't like that, but I do see people using the strap in that way to keep the elbows tucked in uh, in that way. So if I was using the strap here, measuring up the same, elbows are down, elbows to the floor. You breathe in, you lift your spread the back, you curl your toes on them. As you connect, you lift up and reach down. So here, the elbows, you've got these, the, the, this is all sort of in one line. They are at right angles, both sides. And you're maintaining this position uh, throughout. So breathe into upper back, broaden the upper back with breath. And as you exhale, you're pushing back, keeping your forearms parallel with each other. Then breathe to sternum, deep breaths. And as you exhale, reach your sit bones back, reach heels to floor. As you inhale, breathe into upper back, broaden the upper back with breath. And as you exhale, feel as if you're reaching back, leaning back into heels. Working with one leg up, have your feet about hip distance apart. Press your right foot to floor. Breathe in, lift your left leg up, and exhale, reach it back. Breathe to left hip, feel for easing left thigh bone away from pelvis. As you exhale, as you push the floor away, send your left leg back, spread the toe. As you breathe in, feel for gliding your left thigh back away from left hip. And as you exhale, your left, link your left leg away from you. Deep breath, send your left thigh bone away from pelvis. Exhale, lower your left foot to the floor. Left foot presses the floor, breathe in, lift your right leg up. And exhale, reach it back, spread the toes. Keep the right hip, feel for moving right thigh bone away from pelvis. And exhale, as you lengthen it back a little bit more. Now breathe in deeply, breathe to lower back. 
And as you exhale, as you reach your right leg back, spread the toes. On the next breath, send your right thigh bone away from hips. And as you exhale, lower your right foot to floor. Both feet down, breathe the sternum. Exhale, release. Bend the knees and come all the way on down to floor. And then come up to stand. Stand with your feet about two and a half feet away from you, setting up for Agnisara. Hands are onto your thighs. Feet presses the floor. Press down with your feet. Lift the toes. Spread the toes. Don't stick your bum out. So feel as if you're curling under. Sit bones presses straight down. Agnisara, two, uh, four rounds, too slow, too fast. So from here, take a deep breath, relax your belly, and then breathe in deeply. And then exhale. Chin tucks in, suck the belly in and up, and let it go all the way back. Let it go, nice and slow. And breathe in. Exhale, chin tucks in, and start. nice and slow. Two more fast, breathe in, and exhale. And we start removing that as fast as you can. One more, breathe in, and exhale. Keep moving, belly. And then release, and stand, heel toe feet together, and stand, stand at the front of your mat. Coming into your salutations, we'll work very continuously uh, through this, warming the body up, warming the spine, and opening the back of the thighs and the front of your thigh. Your back is, if your knees are needed, place your mat, your support, your pad onto the mat so your knees are protected. Stand with your feet together, or bring your feet about hip distance apart. And then as you exhale, hands together by your chair. Now press down, anchor your feet to floor, lift the toes, spread the toes, spread the balls of your feet. As you press your feet to the floor, breathe in and reach your arms up. Now lift your chest and lift your back ribs. Open your armpits as you reach your arms straight up towards the sky. Keep the length. As you exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. Keep the back of the neck long. Lunge, inhale, step your left leg back. Bend your left knee. Feel as if you're reaching your left heel away from you. Press down into your right foot as you reach your arms out to, up towards the sky. You're pushing the floor away with both legs. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, the back feet are straight up. Now bend the knees, as you exhale, lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in. You can come straight down. Inhale, cobra. Move your chest and ribs forward. Now physically feel your lengthening the legs back. Exhale, release, lower down and press it back. Downward facing, you're pushing the floor away. Walk your feet in two to three inches. Then push the floor away as you reach your heels to the floor. Lunge, inhale, step, the left foot forward between the hands. Reach back into your right heel, bend your right knee. Then push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step forward for forward bend. Keep the neck relaxed as you breathe and move belly away from pelvis. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. On the breath, breathe in, stand. Push the floor away with your feet as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands together by chest. Chair pose, bend the knees. As you breathe in, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move belly away from pelvis, chest away from thighs and knees. Flat your hands to the floor. Exhale, step or hop it back into plank. Reach back, exhale, lower down, keep elbows in. Cobra, inhale, move chest, ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. 
Warrior one, breathe in. Step your left foot forward, back left hand, right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Turn the right foot forward, 45 degrees angle. Then push the floor away. You're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Press down into both legs as you stretch up. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank. Reach back into heel. Push the floor away. Low, lower down and exhale. Cobra, inhale. Your chest moves forward, legs then back. Exhale, press back. Warrior one, breathe in. Step your right foot forward by right hand. Left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Then push the floor away as you reach up. Left tip is forward, right tip is back. Hips are squared on within this pose. Exhale, hands down, step back for plank. Reach back into heels. Exhale, lower down. Cobra, inhale. Move chest, ribs forward, left the legs back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Walk your feet in a couple of inches and then push the floor away as you reach your heels to floor. On the next breath, bend the knees. And as you breathe in, step or hop the legs between the hands. Exhale, fold forward. That is it. Chair pose, knees are bent, lift your chest, reach your arms up, but soften your shoulders down. Sit bones, reaches back, good. And exhale, stand your hands together by the chest. Press your feet to floor, breathe in, reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Telescope your ribs. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. Lunge, inhale, step your right leg back. Bend your right knee, place your knee to the floor. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step back for plank. Reach back into heels, bend the knees or come straight down. Keep reaching heels away from you. Cobra, inhale. Move chest, reach forward, left the legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands, left knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step forward, forward bend. Keep the neck relaxed as you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. Inhale, stand up, push the floor away as you reach up, lift your chest, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together by chest. Chair pose, bend the knees, inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Lift your chest, but reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move chest away from thighs and knees. Exhale, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keep the elbows tucked in. Upward dog, hands under the shoulders, breathe in, lift your chest. Move your chest forward, lengthen your legs back. Tuck your sit bones to heels. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your left foot by left hand, right foot towards the right edge of the mat, and push the floor away. Push the floor away as you reach your arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back for plank. Reach back into heels, exhale, lower down. Breathe into upward facing dog, move chest forward, length the legs back. Sit bones tucks to heels. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Lengthen through the spine. Warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot by right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back for plank. Reach back to heels, exhale, lower down, keep elbows in. Cobra, inhale, move chest ribs forward, length the next back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. On the breath, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, step or hop your legs between the hands. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, bend the knees coming up for chair pose. Now lift your chest, reach your sit bones back. Exhale, stand, hands together, right chin. Moving into uh, two pose vignettes, starting with chair pose. So bend the knees as you breathe in, reach your arms up, lift your chest, reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move belly away from pelvis. Exhale, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, elbows in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest ribs forward, length the legs back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Pushing floor away in downward dog. Warrior two, breathe in. Step your left foot forward between the hands. Your left heel is aligned with the arc of your right foot. Feet about three and a half feet away from each other. Arms are reaching out to side, warrior two. From here, relax your arms down by your side as you set up for shoulder shrugs. 
Now breathe into upper back, deep breath. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent. Exhale, squeeze, low tips of shoulders. Draw down, inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders. Draw down, inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And as you exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders. Draw down, inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent. Exhale, squeeze, low tips of shoulders. Draw down and release. Float your arms out to side. Your next pose is archer. So as you inhale, press into your left foot, reach your left arm up. Bend your left elbow, reach it back. Bring your right arm around the back and bind your hands. Otherwise, use a strap to bind or use clothing, or you can use your right arm to tuck your left elbow up. Press into your Left foot as you breathe, lift out of left side. And as you exhale, reach your left elbow straight up. Glide your right shoulder down away from your ears. Now breathe to sternum, chest lift. And as you exhale, wrapping your left shoulder as you reach your left elbow right up. Deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, push the floor away and move your elbows in opposite directions. Now focus on your spot, focus on what you're feeling right now. And then breathe to where you're feeling this most. And as you exhale, open the shoulders as you open your heart. Inhale, release. Windmill the hands down either side of your left foot, step back for plank. Reach back into heels, exhale, lower down. You're pushing the floor away as you lower down. Cobra, inhale. Move chest, ribs forward, length the next back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Push the floor away. Walk your feet in a couple of inches. And then inhale, step your right leg forward between the hands for warrior two. Your right heel is aligned with the arc of your left foot. Left foot is square to the, uh, to the edge of your mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms out to side. And then relax your arms down by your side. Feel strength in legs, shoulder shrugs. Take a deep breath into upper back. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders. Draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders. Draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent. And exhale, squeeze, the low tips of shoulders. Draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders. Draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders. Draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Elbows bent. Exhale, squeeze the low tips of shoulders. Draw down. Release. Reach your arms out to side, warrior two. Press down with the little toe side of the right foot so your knee does not turn inwards. Reach back into the edge of your left foot. Archer, inhale, reach your right arm straight up, bend the elbow, reach it back. Bring your left arm around and bind your hands. Otherwise, use a strap to bind or use your left arm to reach your right elbow up as you unlock the shoulders. Now breathe in. As you breathe in, press into your right foot. Feel as if you're lifting out of the right side. 
And as you exhale, as you reach your right elbow up, soften your left shoulder down. Breathe the sternum, lift chest bones up. And as you exhale, you're lengthening your right elbow up, feels as if it's unlocking shoulders. Now breathe in, lift sternum. And exhale, moving the shoulders, elbows away from each other. One more breath to your spot. And exhale, release. Hands down either side of your right foot. Let your right leg back for plank. Now reach back into heels and exhale, low down, keeping the elbows tucked in. Once you're all the way down, lengthen your legs back and bring your hands back so the hands are under the shoulders. This is prelude to weight dancer. Let shoulders relax. As you breathe in, lift your chest, move your chest forward. Reach your elbows to hips, keep drawing chest forward. And as you exhale, lower down. Three more like this, deep breath. Feel as if you're moving chest and reach forward. You're lengthening your legs back, sit bones, touch the heels, tuck your elbows in. And as you breathe out, move your chest and reach forward as you come on down. Now breathe in, lengthen lower ribs away from waist. And as you breathe out, keep drawing the chest forward, reach your elbows back to hips. One more, breathe in, keep moving your belly away from top to thighs. And as you exhale, lower on down. Your hands under the shoulders, breathe to lower back, curl toes under. And exhale, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing your away in downward dog. Walk your feet in a few inches, and then reach back to heels. Heels are reaching to floor. Warrior one, breathe in. Step your left foot forward by left hand. Right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. From here, coming into unlocking the shoulders, bend your left elbow. Bring your right thumb into like your armpits, just by the rib cage. The serratus muscles and your trapezius muscles. Now, from here, breathe to the left side of your upper back. And as you exhale, glide the shoulders down, but reach your elbows forward. Feel as if you're squeezing the thumb. Keep reaching out with fingertips. If you've not dislocated your shoulder, you're placing your right hand onto left bicep. And then breathe to the left side of upper back. Hold the breath, raise your bicep up. And as you exhale, glide your bicep forward, all the way forward, glide the shoulders down, keep reaching that elbow forward. Place your uh, right hand onto the elbow joint and breathe into upper back, broaden the upper back with breath. And as you exhale, keep the shoulders down, but reach your elbow forward and press hand onto elbow, elbow presses onto hand. And then release to the other side. Your right arm is reaching up. Your left thumb is stuck into the, like the armpit fingers are onto scapula. Now breathe to the right side of upper back. As you exhale, slide the shoulders down, but reach your elbow forward. Fingers are spread. Place your left hand onto right bicep. Only do this if you've not dislocated your shoulder. Now breathe into upper back, broaden the upper back with breath. Now on exhale, raise your bicep up, glide your bicep all the way forward until you reach your elbow joint. Exhaling as you do. Once you're there, place your left hand onto right bicep, up the elbow joint, and then breathe. Breathe the upper back. As you exhale, as you glide your shoulders down, press hand onto elbow, elbow onto elbow joint, shoulders down, keep reaching your elbow forward. And then release. From here, coming into both hands to the floor for vertical splits. So the hands are onto the floor. You ease forward, lift your right leg away from the floor and reach your right leg straight out and up towards the sky. Press your left foot to the floor, breathe in length and belly away from left thigh. And exhale, reach your right leg back, spread the top. 
Now breathe. As you breathe, feel for gliding your right thigh away from hips. And as you exhale, push the floor away as you lengthen, reach your right leg up, move your forehead towards your left shin. Inhale, release, hands to the floor, step back. Both legs step back for plank. Reach back into heels and exhale, lower down. Keep the elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale, move chest, bridge forward, length the legs back. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Push the floor away, wrap the shoulders, bend the elbows slightly. Warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot forward by your right hand, left foot towards the left, edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Unlocking the shoulders, both hands, both arms at the same time. So your elbows are bent, you're reaching them forward. Now take a deep breath into upper back, run upper back with breath. And as you exhale, reach your elbows forward, but glide the shoulders down, then squeeze in. Squeeze as if you're squeezing a great big beach ball. And then breathe in, breathe into upper back, broaden upper back with breath. And as you exhale, reach your elbows forward, squeeze them in, squeeze, soften the shoulders down, keep chest lifted. Two more, breathe in. And as you exhale, feet presses, anchors to the floor, but reach, reach your elbows forward, feel the broadening the back. Feel your pectoral muscles that are engaged. One more deep breath. And exhale, reach forward, shoulders down, squeeze elbows in. And release. Hands to the floor for vertical splits. Standing on your right leg. As you breathe in, ease forward, lift your left leg up and reach your left leg right out and up towards the sky. Press into your right foot as you breathe, lengthen belly away from right thigh. And as you exhale, as you bring your forehead towards your right shin, extend your left leg out and up towards the sky. Now breathe the lower back as you're lengthening low ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, send in your left leg up, reach out, spread the toes. Keep the hands to the floor. Inhale, step your left leg back. And then step right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels and exhale, lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in. Once you're all the way down, your next pose is boat with your hands clasped. So reach your hands back, clasp your hands, keep the neck relaxed. From here, as you breathe in, lift your head, lift your chest, lift your legs. And as you exhale, lengthen your legs back, your arms are reaching down to sit bones towards your heels. Keep the neck relaxed and then breathe and feel as if you're moving belly along the mat and then lifting up, dive from this chest lift. And as you exhale, lengthen your legs back, reach your sit bones to heel. Two more like this. As you breathe, spread your ribs wide, feel this as they open to armpits. And exhale, reach back, see the chest is lifted, reach back, reach back with the toes, spread the toes. One more like this, lengthen out of lower back with the breath. And exhale, release, lower down. Your hands stay under the shoulders. Breathe to lower back and curl toes under. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Push the floor away in downward dog. Walk your feet in a couple of inches and then push the floor away as you reach your sit bones back towards the sky, heels to the floor. On the next breath, as you inhale, step your left foot forward between the hands. Bring your right hand down on the outside of your left foot. And then reach your left arm out and up towards the sky. Press into your right leg. Breathe in, lengthen your right ribs away from right hip. And as you press your left foot to the floor, rolling chest open towards the left. You can go further, reach your arm Left arm away from left ear, moving into chest opening. Breathe in and press into your left foot. Glide your lower ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you open it out a little bit more. Deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, a rolling chest open as you reach up with the fingertips. Then from here, 
straighten your left leg for twisting triangle. Your right, your left leg is straight, right arm is on the outside of left foot, and your left arm is to the sky. Then breathe deeply, lengthening out of lower back. And then as you exhale, reach your left arm up. Breathe to sternum, deep breath, keep drawing chest forward. And as you exhale, feel as if you're sending your left sit bone back. Inhale, release. Hands down either side of your front foot. Step back to plank. Reach back into heels. Exhale, lower down. Keep elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale. Your chest ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Push and flow away in downward dog. On the breath, as you inhale, step your right foot forward between the hands. Bring your left hand down on the outside of your right foot. Extended, twisting warrior. Reach your right arm either onto sacrum or reach your right arm up towards the sky. Press into left foot and breathe in length and reach away from left hip. And as you press your right foot to the floor, roll chest open towards the right. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Now breathe in as you lengthen, reach away from right hip. And as you exhale, as you open towards the right, glide your right hip back. Breathe to heart, deep breath. And as you exhale, feel as if you're reaching your left leg away from you, reaching back into left heel. Twisting triangle, straighten your right leg. And then right arm is down to the out, left arm is to the outside of right foot. And you're reaching your right arm to the sky. Now breathe in and lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you press your, straighten your right leg, opening up, reaching your right fingertips to the sky. Last breath in this deep breath. Exhale, release. Hands to either side of your front foot. Step back for plank. And reach back into heels. And as you exhale, lower down, keep the elbows tucked in. You, uh, yeah, grab hold of a block in actual fact. Your next pose is built with a block. So the block is placed between your ankles. And then you're lying down on your belly. Your hands are in cactus position. Fingers are pretty much aligned with shoulders, just be, just be head of, just like the head of the shoulder. Keep neck shoulders relaxed. Now squeeze a block. And as you breathe in, lift your head, lift your chest, lift your legs. And as you exhale, glide the shoulders down, squeeze your elbows in, lengthen your legs back. And then breathe in, broaden the upper back, arms forward. As you exhale, as you lift up, glide the shoulders down, squeeze your elbows in, lengthen your legs back. And then breathe in, broaden the upper back, arms forward. Exhale, lift up. Glide the shoulders down, squeeze elbows in. One more, breathe in, arms forward. Broaden the upper back. Exhale, lift up. Glide the shoulders down, squeeze elbows in. Lengthen legs back. Inhale, release, slow down. Bring your hands onto the shoulders, breathe to lower back, curl toes under. And exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing flow away in your downward dog. On your next breath, extended warrior variation. So breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands. Warrior two stance. Your left forearm is onto your left thigh, reaching your right arm out and up towards the sky. Press into your left foot. As you inhale, lift your ribs away from left hip. Chest open as you exhale, reaching your right arm away from right hip. Now breathe to sternum, lift chest forward. And as you exhale, feel as if you're sending your right leg, reach back to so the edge of the foot, right towards the heels, lengthens back. As you breathe, lengthen out, lower ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, curl pubic bone to navel, feel as if you're sending left sit bone back. From here, interlock. So for those who can, you're sliding your left arm on the left thigh, right arm is around the back. If you're not quite there today, if you can have your uh, left hand to the floor by foot, 
and then roll your chest open to the right. Now breathe in deeply, everyone breathe in and lengthen ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, you're rolling chest open, glide your left shoulder away from left hip. Press the right foot to floor and then move your belly forward away from pelvis, move your chest to chin. And as you exhale, move both shoulders down. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Hands out the side of your left foot. Step back for plank. Reach back into heels and exhale, lower down. Keep out those tops in. Cobra, inhale, move chest ribs forward, lengthen the legs back. Exhale, press it back. Downward facing dog, push your floor away in downward dog. On the next breath, extended warrior variation with chest opener. So breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands, warrior two stance. Your right forearm is onto your right thigh. Reach your left arm up towards the sky and then reach it away from your ear. Press into your right leg, breathe in, lift out of right side. And as you exhale, as you reach your left arm away from you, glide your left hip back. Feel anchored, your left foot presses strongly to the floor. Now breathe, lengthen, low ribs away from waist. Keep drawing chest to chin. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your right foot. Interlock. On the next breath, slide your right arm under your right thigh. Left arm is around the back, behind the hand. You're not quite there. Your right hand is onto the floor, maybe onto a block. And roll the chest towards the left. Deep breath, press your right foot to floor. Glide your ribs forward by your right hip. And as you breathe out, send your right sit bone back towards left heel. Left foot is anchored to floor. Now breathe and move belly away from pelvis. And exhale, moving both shoulders away from your ears. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Hands down either side of your front foot. Uh, step back into plank and then bend the knees as you're coming down. You need a roll, you need a block for your next pose. Your next pose is for you to wave down to two. So the, the block is between your ankles and the roll is under your belly. So you line over the roll, the hands are under the shoulders. From here, The hands are under the shoulders. So I was just thinking about giving you an easier one to do, but um, hands on the shoulders, stop to the feet on the floor. As you breathe in, use your belly to come up. Use your hands also, and then lift up. And then exhale, relax your belly as you pull forward over the roll. The feet on the floor, squeeze the roll. Breathe in, use your belly to come up. Use your hands, and then lift up even more. And as you exhale, allow your body to fold forward over the roll. Two more like this, breathe in, squeeze the roll. Move, use your belly to lift up and come as high as you can. One more, use your belly, breathe in, and then lift up, go as high as you can. And as you exhale, relax, forward over the roll. We'll bring your hands onto the shoulders. As you breathe in, curl toes under. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog, feeling for pushing floor away in downward facing dog. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands. Keep your hands to the floor, bring your left hand onto your left thigh and walk your right hand towards your right foot. Head to ankle prep. So from here, please. as you breathe in, press down into your left foot and glide away. So breathing into the foot. And as you exhale, glide your left thigh away from you. Your forehead is moving towards your right foot. Now breathing as you breathe in, move belly away from that left thigh. And as you breathe out, glide your left thigh away from you. Breathe to lower back, keep lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, balloon. So you're opening your 
left side ribs towards the left thigh knee. Your forehead is moving towards your right foot. Last breath in this deep breath. And as you exhale, move your thigh bone away from him. And then release. From here, bring your, hand, keep your hands onto your left thigh as you come up. Bend your left knee, reach your arms out to side. From here, your next pose is reverse warrior. Press into both legs, breathe in, reach your right arm is up. And exhale, re release. Your right hand is below or above the knee. Reach your left arm over left ear. Now feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your right leg as you inhale, lift out to the right side. And as you exhale, press your left foot to the floor as you reach your left arm over the left knee. Breathe in, lift belly, diaphragm, lift chest. And exhale, open the side ribs. If your back is three, you bring your right hand high up. You can move, move the hand all the way around. Feel for pressing both feet to the floor and then breathe in, lift up, lift chest. And as you exhale, your left arm is over left knee. Use your left arm breathing to pull your body up. Right hand supports your head. Hands down either side of your left foot. Step back to plank. Reach back into heels. Exhale, lower down. Keep elbows tucked in as you lower down. Cobra, inhale. Move chest, reach forward, length and legs back. Exhale, press it back. Downward facing dog. You're pushing floor away in downward facing dog. On the next breath, warrior two, breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands. Now keep your hands to the floor, bring your right hand onto your right thigh, walk your left hand back towards your left foot. So make sure your right knee does not turn inward. So press down with the little toe side of your right foot, head to ankle prep. Press your right foot to the floor, breathe into right hip. And as you breathe out, glide your right thigh towards the right, bringing your forehead towards your left shin, towards your left foot. Now balloon the breath into your right side ribs and feel your ribs opening up, creating a sickling shape to the right side of the body. And as you breathe out, move your right thigh away from you, bring your forehead towards your left foot. Now breathe to where you're feeling this most deep breath. And as you breathe out, glide your right thigh away from you. Inhale, release. Keep your uh, right hand on the thigh as you use this to come all the way up, coming into warrior two. Arms reach out to side. From here, reverse warrior. Press into your left foot, breathing. Reach your left arm straight up. And as you exhale, reverse. Your left hand is now below or above you. Reach your right arm over right ear. You can lift, bring your left hand higher onto the hip. You can slide it around. Now press into that left leg, breathe in, lift out of left side. Use your right foot, push the floor away with your right foot as you reach your right arm over right here. Now go nice and easy in this pose and feel the sensations, feel what the pose offers you. So feel the strength in legs, press your feet to floor and then lengthen out of lower back. And exhale, your right arm is over right here. Now breathe to sternum, deep breath, chest lifts. And exhale, feel the opening. Don't rush it, just feel it as you reach your arm over your ear. Use your right arm breathing to pull your body up, left arm supports your head. Bring the hands down either side of your right foot, step back for plank. You need your own, reach back, Lower down, keep elbows tucked in as you lower down. The roll is under your belly. The block is between your ankles. This is cobra. This is cobra over the rope. So hands are under the shoulders, tucked elbows, squeeze the block. Use your belly, inhale, come up. Now stay here, just keep feeling that you're using the roll to give your belly a nice little massage. Keep feeling that you're opening up into lower back. You're lifting chest, but your shoulders are down. Keep sending sit bones to heels. And just feel for using this pose to open up. Chest is lifting. Belly is moving away from tops of thighs. Your lower ribs are lengthening away from sacrum. 
And one more breath, deep breath. And exhale, release, slow down. Hands under the shoulders, breathing, curl toes under. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Pushing floor away in your downward facing dog. On the next breath, uh, lunge H to the B. So inhale, step your left foot forward between the hands. Place your right knee to the floor and pad your right knee. And then bring your left hand onto left thigh. Reach your right arm back, grab hold of the ankle with your hand. Press down into your left foot, breathing, lift up the belly away from thigh. And as you exhale, draw your, heel, draw your heel towards your right hip. Breathe to lower back, keep lengthening out of lower back. And as you exhale, coming in a little deeper. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale as you come a little deeper. Inhale, release. Lounge, lounge. Your right hand is reaching forward about 10 inches ahead of the shoulder. Use your left hand to stretch in the left thigh, opening into the hips. Reach your right leg back and then breathe in, lengthen through the right side of your body. As you press your left foot to the floor, arcing chest open towards the left. As you breathe in, keep moving belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, as you reach, keep reaching your right leg back. You're moving chest to inside of your left leg. Now breathe in, breathe in, move belly away from pelvis. And exhale as you're taking it a little bit. One more breath in this deep breath. And exhale as you're opening up. Release. Bring your hands down either side of your front foot. Step back for plank. Reach back into heels and exhale, lower down. Keep elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest, ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, release. Lower down and press it back. Downward facing dog. Push your floor away in your downward dog. Really nice pose. H to B, lunge H to B, breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands. Place your left knee to the floor, pad the left knee. Right hand is traction in your right thigh forward, left arm is reaching back. Grab hold of your ankle or your foot. Now breathe in, keep lifting out of left side. And as you exhale, you're folding, you're drawing your heel in. Deep breath, feel as if you're sucking your belly up away from pelvis. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, draw your heel all the way into glute. Now breathe and feel as if you're lengthening out of lower back. And exhale as you take it a little deeper. Inhale, release. Lounge, lounge. Bring your Left hand forward about 10 inches ahead of the shoulder. Your right hand is traction in your right thigh forward. Strengthen your left leg. And as you lengthen your left leg back, breathing, glide your ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, moving sternum towards the inside of right leg. Breathe the sternum, deep breath. And as you exhale, keep sending your left leg back and away from you. Press your right foot to floor, breathe in, move belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, you're taking it a little deep. Inhale, release. Your hands to either side of your right leg, step back for plank. Uh, when you step back for plank, you will need your roll in this pose. So you need the block between your ankles and the roll is under your belly. Your pose, ne your next pose is prelude to wave dancer three. Block between ankles, roll on the belly. Roll is on the belly. Your hands are down by your hips. 
So when you come up in this time, you're just using your belly to come up. So watch your rolls between your thighs, your belly presses to the roll as you breathe in, you come up. And use your hands to lift up a little bit more. Then relax your belly, exhale as you come down. Hands are light, breathe in, come up. Then hands down, lift up, draw chest forward. And as you exhale, relax your belly as you come on down. Hands away from the floor, breathe in, just use your belly to come up. Hands down, lift up. And as you exhale, relax your belly as you come on down. Two more, hands away from the floor, breathe in, use your belly to come up. Hands down, lift up. Lengthen out of lower back. And as you exhale, come on down. Last one, breathe in to come up. Hands to the floor and lift up. Draw chest forward, lengthen legs back, sit bones to heels. And as you exhale, low down. Move the roll. Hands are under the shoulders, breathe to lower back, curl toes under. And exhale, press it back, but downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing to go away in downward facing dog. From here, on the breath, bend the knees. Therefore, hop your legs between the hands and come on down to a seated position. From here, I'll demonstrate this way so you can see. You're bringing your heels up, so the heels, uh, your feet are flat to the floor. And you're hugging your thighs and knees, your sit bones pressing down, you're being lifted out and out of the lower back, and you shake up top and the shoulders down. Press your sit bones to the floor, and then breathe in, move your belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, feel as if you're pushing the floor away. Now spread the breath into back ribs, deep breaths. And as you exhale, shoulders down. From here, let your feet come forward about to my heels. They are about eight inches away from sit bone. Hands are by hips. From here, as you breathe in, lift your right leg up and reach it forward, straighten it. And as you exhale, bring it back down, foot to the floor. Breathe in, lift your left leg up. And as you breathe out, straighten it, reach it forward. Then inhale, bring it back, place the foot to the floor. And then inhale, right leg lifts up. And as you exhale, reach it forward, spread the toes. Keep the chest lifted, don't lean back. So keep lifting out of lower back. Inhale and exhale, bring it back. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, reach it forward, keep the chest lifted. Inhale and exhale, place it back down. Two more like this. Breathe in, lift your right leg up. And as you exhale, reach it forward, keep the chest lifted, keep lengthening out of lower back. Inhale, lengthen your right leg forward. And exhale, bring it back. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, reach it forward. Inhale, lengthen your left thigh away from hip. And exhale, bring it back. Hug your thighs and knees, sit up, and then keep lengthening out of lower back. As you press your feet to floor, breathe in, lift belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, shoulders down. And this time, hands by hips. Bring your feet forward a few inches. Then if you can, lift your feet up off the floor. Your knees are pretty much at the right angle, if you can. From here, your hands can stay on the floor. Now breathe in, reach your right leg forward. And exhale, bring it back. Inhale, reach your left leg forward, spread the toes. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, reach your right leg forward. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, reach your left leg forward. Exhale, bring it back. Lift your hands off the floor if you can. As you inhale, reach your left, right leg forward. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, reach your left leg forward. Exhale, bring it back. If you can, reach your arms forward. And then inhale, reach both legs forward. Exhale, bring it back. Don't lean back. Inhale, reach your legs forward. Reach your arms forward if you can. 
Exhale, bring it back. Two more. Inhale, reach your legs forward. Keep the chest lifted. Keep lengthening out of lower back. Exhale, bring it back. One more. Inhale, reach forward. Keep the chest lifted. Reach your arms forward. Reach your legs forward. Exhale, bring it back. Feet to the floor and hug. As you press your seat, but sit bones down, breathe in, lift belly away from pelvis. And exhale, feel this if you're pushing the floor away with your sit bones, shoulders are down. Now breathe to stern on this chest. And exhale, soften your shoulders. From here, bring your hands by hips. Sit bones forward. Keep the hands tucked in as you lower down. Lower it all the way down to the floor. From here, straighten your left leg, left leg reaches away from you. Bend your right knee, draw your right knee towards the chest. Breathe to lower back, deep breath. And as you breathe out, draw your right knee in towards the right shoulder, lengthen your left leg away from you. On the next breath, spread the breath into lower back. And as you breathe out, drawing your right knee in. Keep feet active, keep sending left leg away. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, drawing that knee in a little bit more. Use your left arm to the outside of your right thigh. Reach your right arm out towards the right. Breathe to lower back, deep breath. And as you exhale, your right knee is coming across your body. Right knee is coming towards your left armpit. Head is in the opposite direction to me. Now breathe. As you breathe, you're lengthening lower ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, let your body relax a little bit more. Your right knee may not come to the floor. That's okay. Just go nice and easy in the pose. Breathe in. Move belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, feel as if you're sending sit bones towards right heel. If you can, straighten your right leg. And then breathe. Breathe to lower back as you're lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you're opening out a little bit more. One more like this. Deep breath. Oh. Exhale, release. Release both arms to the floor. Press your arms to the floor. Breathe in. Draw your knees back. Bend your right knee as you draw it all the way back. To the center, place your right foot to the floor, reach your right leg away from you, bend your left knee, sole of the foot to the floor, so press your lower back down, lift your uh, left foot away from the floor and bind just below your shin, lower back presses to floor, breathe to lower back and as you breathe out, draw your left knee towards your left shoulder, right leg lengthens away from you and then breathe deeply. And as you exhale, you're drawing that knee in. Keep reaching your right leg away. One more like this, breathing into left hip. Now pull your belly in, draw your left knee towards your left shoulder, right leg lengthens. Bring your right hand to the outside of your left thigh. Bring your left arm away towards the left. Breathe to lower back, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you draw your left knee across your body. Left knee is coming down towards your right hip or towards right armpit. Head is in the opposite direction. Doesn't matter whether your knee touches. So now breathe to lower back. Keep feeling for lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, your knee will come closer to the floor. Don't force this. It's not the end of the pose. You're still working through. So take advantage to learn from the pose. Breathe to lower back. Deep breath, lengthening lower ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, feel as if you're lengthening your right leg away from you. Breathe into belly. Move belly away from pelvis. And exhale, soften left shoulder down. Now breathe to sternum, deep breath. If you can, straighten your uh, left leg. 
Then one more breath to your spot. Exhale, release. Release your arms to the floor, breathe in, bend your left knee, and then come all the way back to center. When you're all the way back to the center, soles of your feet are onto the floor. And then with your lower back pressing to the floor, lift your feet up off the floor. And then reach your legs up to the sky, take hold of the feet for happy baby. Breathe to lower back, deep breath. Pull belly in on exhale, exhale completely, bellies in, knees to armpits, heels to ceiling, and pressing your lower back down. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale. Now pull your belly in. Bring your knees down and heels up. And keep, pre keep pressing your lower back to floor. Keep lengthening sit bones away from you. And release. The soles of your feet onto the floor. You're lying down in your final pose, Shavasana. So the soles of your feet to the floor. You can bring the soles of your feet together. Some knees are out to the side. Straight to the legs is another option. Or you can lie down with the, uh, your feet up against the wall, either in splits or your heels straight up against the wall. Now let go. Let your arms relax. And allow yourself to sink into your mat.
you're lying here now allow yourself to connect and reconnect with your spot reconnecting with every part of you giving yourself time to notice how you feel As you breathe, feel for drawing that beautiful earth energy into your body. And as you exhale, exhale completely, let go of anything that's not serving you. And taking two more breaths, two breaths that nourishes your body. Letting go of all that remains on exhale. And one more breath. And the next breath, begin to stretch in a way that feels good to you. So giving yourself time to release yourself time to feel what it feels like when you interrupt and do something just for you so give yourself a delicious stretch Once you've given yourself a nice little stretch, uh, roll to your left side towards your heart center. Bring your right hand to the floor by chest, breathe in. And exhale, push the floor away as you come all the way on up. Use your left hand to support your head and neck as you come up. Bring your hands together so the thumbs lightly touch sternum. And notice how you feel. Congratulate yourself for your practice. And thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today as we finish with a, a deep breath. And exhale. Namaste. Thanks, everyone.